Hello and welcome to this section of the Physics 3 Tutor. Here we're going to continue working problems related to a wire that's carrying electric current in a magnetic field. And uh, really the same exact principles apply. We're just going to be expanding and doing problems of slightly more complexity, a little more steps, but the main ideas are really all the same. So this problem goes as follows. A wire is 50 centimeters long and it lies along the x-axis. It carries 0.5 amps of current. Uh, in the positive x direction. A magnetic field in the region here around the wire is uh, 0 0.0030 teslas in the j direction plus 0 0.010 teslas in the k direction. What is the force on this wire? So we have everything we need because we learned a minute ago that the force on a wire carrying a current is I L cross B. L is the wire direction uh, uh, I is the current in the wire, L bar, L vector, is the direction of that wire, the length of the wire, and it's crossed with, with B. And we talked about how we derive that and how it makes sense from all the charges flowing through there. They're all getting pushed, so the wire gets pushed. So in this case, though, we have a vector, an actual uh, vector, and, and, and it lies in J and K, which is Y and Z directions for the magnetic field. And we're actually also given a vector for the wire because we're told the wire is 50 centimeters long, so it's, we know the length, and we know it's along the x-axis. So from that information, we should be able to just dive right into the solution because the force on a wire, the magnetic force, is I times the length of the wire crossed with B. Now this just isn't the length. This is the length of the wire, and also it, it takes account to the uh, direction of the wire. We cross it with the magnetic field uh, strength there. So, let's just write it down. The um, magnetic field that we were given, the magnetic field that we were given is 0 0.0030 Teslas in the J direction uh, plus 0 0.010 Teslas in the K direction. And the wire, we're told, is 50 centimeters long and it's in the X direction. So let's set up uh, first of all, forget about I, let's do find L cross B. L cross B. We're going to find this cross product of these two vectors, and then when we get the answer, we'll multiply by the current that we have, and then we'll get the, we'll get the final answer. So, the easiest way to do this, is you can, like I said in the last section when we did a problem like this, you can do it however you want, but I've gotten so used to doing this with determinants that it's very easy for me to just remember. I don't have to even look at a book. You just write I direction, J direction, and K direction. So these are the directions that we have. And we're crossing the wire vector L into the B vector, the magnetic field vector. So the wire vector, it says right here that the wire is 50 centimeters long and it's in the X direction. So 